In this video, we are going to be looking at the best investments in EA FC 24 right now. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now boys, the very first investment that I'm going to be talking about is going to be the 84 rated cards. The reason for this is because they are super, super cheap at the moment. What you want to do is try to pick them up for 1.2k. So as you can see, Clara is actually a little bit more expensive at the moment as compared to some of the other players that we can get in this filter. But yeah, basically, you want to go ahead and look for players that are... 1.2k or lower so Castiles might be a little bit lower uh it's about the same 1.4k so what you can do is go ahead and what i like to do is just go ahead and snipe these guys at 1.2k you can pick them up in 1.3k 1.4k nothing wrong with that but probably best if you just you know look at it and snipe them for 1.2k try get a couple of them try bid a couple of them i reckon um yeah when the sbc comes out basically i reckon these guys are gonna go up so as you can see here i can bid this one pretty easily and I can win them. So yeah, the reason why we would want to bid these cards is because when an SVC comes out and 84 rated is required, they usually go pretty up in price. So yeah, that's the first filter done. Now boys, another super, super cheap investment that I'm going to be talking about is going to be a gold common uh, investment. So you guys might be asking, why is this a thing? Well, basically there's a 78 plus upgrade out at the moment. If you try this to gold common for 350 coins, they're going to sell straight away. So, at 400 coins even, these guys will sell like, quite quickly, I reckon. But yeah, so people are trying to do the SBC, so that's why gold commons are up in price. So, what this means is that we can actually bid these cards for 300 coins and win some of them. However, if you notice, the first couple of pages are all going to be done with um, 300 coin bids. So, what I like to do is go through a couple of pages and start bidding away around the whatever mark you're on. Now, obviously, I'm on the PC market. That is why it's already 10 minutes left. There's not much players on the market. On the PS Xbox market, it's going to be way easier to win these cards on bid. And what I recommend doing is after you bid on these cards, you can save them until the prices go up. So, yeah, they're going to like, they might get bid up on 350, but some of these cards, as you guys can see, even when there's only like, what, like nine minutes left on these cards, they're still going to be up for um, 300 coins. So, yeah. It's another one of those filters that's going to take a little bit of time depending on what console you're on but uh yeah you can literally get these guys at 300 coins save up uh stack them up in your club until they go up to like 500 600 coins and sell them for a little bit about profit the reason why this filter is so good is you can virtually lose no coins on this filter if i bid on something for 300 sell for 350 i can still make a profit because even after tax it's only 50 coins profit but after tax even i still make a profit only about 20 coins but that's if the player is not going to rise so yeah it's very one of the good filters to do and i do highly recommend it now boys another thing that i want to talk about is going to be just the same thing with the fodder so basically icon packs are apparently being leaked in the code what this means is that any form of fodder 84 plus will probably rise if the sbc is obviously worth it now these sbcs are going to probably require a good amount of fodder 86s 87s uh, I'm just going to look at some 85s at the moment, see what they're going for at the market uh, the, at the moment. So yeah, Bond is a little bit expensive. Again, my market's completely different to you. It might be completely different to your guys' market because I'm on PC. But yeah, so look for the cheapest 86, 87 rated players. Um, On the footbin, the 86, 86 rated players, they're going to be around 8k, I think. So we're going to go ahead for Parejo because he's obviously going to be cheap on every console. It does not matter just because of his card. Parejo, 8.5. Yeah, you can get him for a little bit cheaper than that. Yes, it's about 8.2k at the moment. What I recommend doing is get any of these cards, if you can, get them as cheap as you can. So, see that 7.6, I'm buying that. I don't have the coins at the moment because I'm currently doing another investment and I have made changes to my squad. But yeah, I can literally sell my players and do these investments pretty easily. So, uh, wait, no. If we go to my team real quick, I'll just show you guys what's going on. So, the reason why my coins are so low is because I have just gotten myself uh, Darwin Nunes. He was about 15, 16k. And I also had some more coins, but I started his evolution. So I had about 65k sitting around. So what I recommend doing is these investments. Investing in the 86s, your 85s, your 87s, because there's an icon SBC leak. So you guys won't have to wait for them too long anyways. So uh, yeah, that's probably the best investment by far. Now guys, another thing that might be slightly off topic that I want to talk about is SBC um, investing. So what this means is that basically any SBC that you guys see, you can basically invest in. For example... If you see leaks of a 78 plus upgrade, you can probably tell that the gold commons you have in your club, that there's no point of selling for 350, you can wait and sell them for 400 coins. Well, similarly, you can probably do this with a lot of other um, 
a lot of other SPCs and stuff because this is the same with any um, upgrade that comes out. For example, an AT plus upgrade is out at the moment, but no one's really going to do an AT plus upgrade, right? So what you can look for is, as I said, like an Icon SPC that's coming out. What this means is that cards that require the Icon SPC are going to go up, meaning you can already invest in these cards. So that's another thing that I want to mention because very important. That's how a lot of players, that's how a lot of people make their coins. They look at the SPCs that are out, um, that are going to come out and they get their players off the SBCs. So yeah, that's probably the best way that I'm gonna be saying it. Um, make sure you guys look at the SBCs, who comes out, when to invest, because that's how most of these uh, investment videos are actually made. So uh, yeah.